Welcome to what will be a new series. So uh, do not worry, the um, what's called the uh, Mountain Blade Legler mod is not going anywhere. It's just uh, it's just been a busy week or two for me. So that's why I'm just taking it easy. And um, in order to get me uh, recording, I wanted to start to do something new. And um, I thought to myself, well, which or what do I like to do? I like to play EU4. However, um, I've you know the vanilla game. It's 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 a little bit you know I've played it enough to uh, to get a little bit bored. So uh, this is a revisitation of a very popular mod, or at least in my eyes, it's a very popular mod. It's the Veritas at Fortitudo mod. And um, since we last played it, um, we had uh, let's see, uh, it's been redone. So it's a new. Uh, uh, it's a different uh, mod page, so to speak, in Steam. And uh, as far as you can tell, there's already a lot different. So, for instance, we start on the 9th of March 1309, because I believe the familiar game is like 1946. Uh, something else, the Emperor is not Austria, but it is uh, Luxembourg. Um, you can see that, for instance, France is just separated into... Uh, a little bit more pieces uh, and it has like a lot of vessels Anjou, Armagnac, Averne, Bourbonne or Bourbonne, uh, Burgundy, Foix, Orléans and Berry or Berry and you can see that Castile is also not really fully uh, present <laughs> but it also has Cordoba, Toledo and Sevilla so it's it's already you know it's present, <laughs> and it already has a personal union with Galicia and Leon, and it is allied to uh, Aragon. So that's already like yeah, good. Uh, that's a good good enough start. Um, is there anything else we might see? Uh, the Byzantine Empire is still in decline. Or, yeah, the Byzantines are in decline, I think. At least uh, the vanilla game you start off with, uh, with like Byz the Byzantium having only like its capital and some minor states and like two vessels like Athens and uh, Noxus, I believe, or is that Venice? Oh, I don't know. Uh, something else. Uh, yeah, you can see uh, some nations have different colors. For instance, Milan is not um, like the reddish. It's normal, I think. Uh, so yeah. And we are playing as Brandenburg, and um, Brandenburg, we're gonna try to just kick ass once more. I just like uh, to play as this nation. I never really have fully uh, gotten the achievement. Something else, we are not playing on Iron Man mode, because uh, I forgot to turn it on, I guess. Um, what we might want to do is, uh, let's just, let's just uh, enable it first. So yeah, sorry for the inconvenience, but uh, I was just like testing it, and I figured, well, why not? Just start recording instantly. Hopefully this works and doesn't like disrupt the whole uh, thing. Okay, it, apparently that, but that doesn't really matter. So I'll be back when I have what I want. <laughs> and here we are. So uh, this is like the uh, complete beginning of, uh, of the game. So you still get like the uh, welcome to Veritas at 42 though. Um, pop up and uh, just uh, I just made up a name for this campaign it's the the name will be the quality of our troops is im because it doesn't really fit so it's impressive because i'm as far as i'm aware the uh, we are part of the prussian group uh military wise i hope where, where can i see this um let's see army tradition no um but i believe we do have the uh, the prussian uh Prussian uh, technology group of some sort, um, just uh, giving us like the best uh, or if, if a massive bonus to uh, infantry combat ability. So, uh, welcome to Vertas at Fortitudo. Welcome to Vertas at Fortitudo, a total conversion mod for Europa Universalis 4. Um, this mod introduces a large number of enhanced gameplay mechanics, including new policies, ID groups, factions, religions, trade groups, and much more. 
if you uh, are experienced, no, we most likely do not have that. Hopefully we do not. So, the state of the world. The world of Vegetas at 42, though, is similar to that of the actual timeline, but some things are quite different. The great powers are, are, of actual history are not necessarily the great powers of alternate timeline. So, we are playing an alternate timeline. And that's, uh, yeah, but we will become one of the greater, because, of course, that's how we roll, of course. Um, so, uh, and forts, uh, various areas in the world, uh, of the world, castles uh, and walled cities uh, were the norm of, and support for, for these usually came from the local nobility of the city itself. Uh, in the early game, particularly as we uh, start as a century and a half earlier than vanilla, so a century and a half, oh right, we start in 1444, that's the date we start, 1444. Uh, these fortresses were a signif significant uh, check on expansion and were often difficult to overcome. Uh, any given province in, Europa, uh, in Europe would have uh, at least one such structure of several smaller one or several smaller ones that would ne uh, necessitate the time and investment f uh, of a formal siege. Uh, in the early 16th century, as cannons became more mobile and powerful, this, um, the situation shifted towards concentrated concentrated fortifications in strategic areas because of the enormous cost of building structures that could withstand such weapons. Uh, the early fortifications, local fortifications buildings, building, uh, will start to disappear at military technology 18 as they fall into dis, uh, disrepair and aren't worth to the investment considering their in ineffectiveness. Um, okay, these local fortifications have a chance of being destroyed when provinces are captured. Okay. Fascinating. So um, there's a lot of shit we can uh, we we can like do, but um, yeah, I don't really care. I will uh, you know stumble upon it and hopefully figure it out as we go on. Um, so we are Brandenburg, and that gives us. Uh, let's start off with the idea groups or the missions and decisions. Um, I've already looked at this a uh, little bit, so. We can pop up, uh, yet again get the encyclopedia, the thing I was just reading from, which will be very nice. Uh, boycott the jeu de pomme. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, you can have jeu de pomme games, um, basically giving you a chance to gain some points for free or lose some for free. Yay. Um, realm management, which is uh, not sure what it is. <laughs> and then meta decision, policy decision. So that's all disabled. Why? I don't know. Um, so here we have it. So form German nation, and for that we need administrative technology of thirty six. Okay, uh, form kingdom of Prussia, for which we need administrative technology twenty eight, which is I think a long time before you can do it. And also, uh, Brandenburg needs to be Lutheran or Calvinist. So uh, we could adopt the plutocratic administ administration, for which we need. Okay. Plutocratic. I'm not really sure what it is, but I think it's part of a uh, <laughs> trade uh, system. Okay. Um, force abdication of your monarch, which was, <laughs> I think, a very nice. So if you have like a shitty ruler and you are not in a regency council, you can force the motherfucker to leave. Uh, time to abdicate uh, when your ruler is older than 70 and your heir is at least 20. That's actually also very nice. For instance, if you have like a very good heir, but your poopy air is just like not in it you know so you could either force him which would cost you some uh, points or you could uh, tell him to, to go but for that he needs to be at least, at least 70 so sure uh, and then we all have the other stuff um, paper influence which will give us improve our relations okay so this is basically uh, the the holy sea game as, as far as I'm, I'm concerned Okay, um, and what we uh, might want to check first is what is our goal? Um, I really want to form the Prussian Kingdom, Kingdom of Prussia. So for that we need also to control Danzig. Uh, so even though it's going to take a long time before we actually can um, can do it. So uh, administer tech of 28 and we are moment momentarily at like zero. So sure, perhaps that is uh, our main focus, administrative, administrative, and then our second focus might be um, what you call it, uh, military, and then later on, yeah, not really a big fan of uh, 
of Diplo. Uh, but we want the administrative in order to uh, maintain, uh, so that we can maintain uh, conquering provinces because we need, uh, in order to core a province, you need administrative points. So that's most likely going to be our main focus. So there we go. Uh, we just set a main focus for that. And something else, um, we are a prince in the um, uh, in the Holy Roman Empire. And as you can see, there are some free cities. And then you have the Luxemburg is the emperor himself. Um, I'm not really sure if it actually is necessary to uh, befriend the, the, the king himself. But for some reason, he wants my provinces. Uh, let's see, how far is your reach? Yeah, like, not far at all. So, um, let's look at the Holy, Ro Holy Roman Empire for now. It appears that we have a good chance at becoming uh, the emperor next uh, next election. And let's see, how old are you? How old is the current emperor? 34. So, it's not really... Uh, that's... Uh, he's not really old, old. Um, so, what I was thinking is that we just uh, ally four of these uh, nice chaps so who the uh, four who are already like uh, going for us so then we have like uh, allies and then we can also um, yeah live a life <laughs> so to speak and that would mean that we also are spaced out pretty good because I want to uh, expand outside the Holy Roman Empire and also to the to the sea as far as I can of course um, the second thing that really excited me is that we already have a mission to conquer Silesia. Uh, or S yeah, Silesia, I suppose. And that uh, means that we already get a, a claim on uh, Leknica. Right? So, yeah, Leknica, Glogau, and Wroclaw. And that basically means that we can intervene in this war with, um, with Poland. Giving us already like uh, free provinces as to, uh, uh, so, yeah. So we want free provinces, of course we want. Um, however, I am not sure as far uh, how strong the Polish are. So I really just want to build up an army and wait for this this army to die, and then we just at least get Glogau. That's that's what I want to do uh, first. So let's build three more units. So. We'll do it like this, okay, increase, uh, oh, for some reason we built the wrong kind of units, or it appears to be, yes, no, and there we are, okay, that's uh, good enough for me, uh, second thing, let's get some uh, rivals. So Denmark has, uh, is our enemy. So is Austria and Magdeburg. And Magdeburg is right over there. So let's see who can we do. Uh, Austria is way stronger than we are, like 50%. So with the build-up of our army, we should have like a same uh, relative army strength. So Denmark is an easy, easy, easy one to pick. Uh, Austria, I'm not really sure if you want to uh, make them our enemy just yet. Uh, but Magdeburg should be one, and then Poland if possible. Poland? No, we cannot rival Poland, because Poland is most likely too strong. Stronger than Austria? I'm uh, not really sure. But um, we also need to get um, Pomerania, sure. Okay, we have selected you guys, and then we want to select this one as well. And uh, let's try to look at this. Uh, fabricate a claim on Poznan, that's what I want to do first. Secondly, with our other uh, diplomat, we will go after Saxony, because we already have same religion, same dynasty. Okay, that's a good one to have, so... Of alliance as quick as we can and then we will start off the game I guess um, right uh, sure so like one day and in the beginning it's most likely gonna be uh, quite a uh, hard game to run because you first need to um, 
yeah, like render all the things. You know. Okay, so we also go for Trier. And that's like five days, so let's speed it up a bit. Two, four, and boom. Excellent. And for some reason, you already hate us. Oh, no, don't. Oh, okay, you don't hate us. So, ally you as well. Mains, unhalt, no, sorry, will not be your friend. Okay, plans for Regency. That's our first pop-up. Uh, in the event of uh, that Waldemar I should die before the heir of... Oh, wait, we are still playing. Oops. <laughs> before the heir is of age, preparations must be made for a Regency Council to be established. Okay. We shall... Uh, who shall we designate to lead the Council? So, the Queen, which will uh, decrease our land force limits, but give, give us uh, legitimacy, which is nice, because if you have Regency, I believe you do... Lose some legitimacy. Uh, designate a relative. So tax modifier over manpower. No. Uh, tax modifier over cavalry costs. No. Also not really what I want. Tolerance of heretics versus morale of armies. Um, I think I do like um, designate an archbishop. Sure. Because uh, in the beginning, there is, you know, everyone is just Catholic, as Catholic can be. So that's not really a problem. So you are like tolerating Catholics all over. And yeah, that's basically it. Okay, let's see. Uh, 38 days before our army, or 68 days before our army is complete. And uh, let's continue on trying to make everyone like us. So we are. Not yet allied, and you would not ally us because you have a natural attitude toward us. Okay, improve relations, or could we already... No, your government type will not allow it. Okay, let's just... Okay, Saxony wants this. Excellent. So, and there we go. This is basically our little alliance uh, thingamabobber. Okay. And Poland has a two-stack army. Um, let's see. I think we just wanna. Okay, and for some reason you already haven't. Okay. Um, I like to Opel, but I don't really think you. No, you didn't like Coleman. So, um, what we will do is just declare and do it quickly because the. Um, Okay, let's just get rid of you. Also, let's appoint a leader. A uh, pretty good one. Uh, how many leaders can we have in the first place? Um, okay, we can have one. Excellent. Or well, not so excellent. So let's also get... Okay. Good enough for me. National focus. Right. So... Four days we can engage. Okay, and we are requested to have plans for a crusade. So, our agents report that the Pope is planning a new crusade. Okay, and we have an interest, or we could change paper influence. Uh, no, we do not really have any interest. Okay, now you also are allied to Mazovia, so I don't really think we can intervene anymore. Shite. Mm. Uh, let me first check this. So this is Defender against the Poland Reconquest of Greater Poland. Um, I really just want to get, like, get in already. So let's see. Because they most likely have like a huge army already. Hmm. Uh, let's see. And you all are not really <laughs> eager to join just yet. So, um... No, we will not go for Glogo just yet. We will wait for Poland to... Hmm... Uh, let's just wait and see how this, uh this thing turns out, because I can understand that at some point they should be able to call in him to war, to the war, and if Poland is fighting them, then we can like scoop them, scoop them up. 
and otherwise we cannot really win. So that's the only tactic we will have. Uh, we will have uh, to bring. So um, let's see. We'll just like send a little donation, and that should be it. So uh, this is the end of this first episode. I'd like to thank you for watching, um, and if you are excited for this series to uh, basically just continue on every day. Uh, I would like some uh, feedback. Positive, negative, don't care. Just feedback. Or if you like to crush this series already, you know, feedback. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, bye.